when God does not want you with someone, you have to let them go. Sometimes you have to unapologetically get rid of all things and people and situations that no longer belong in the new season of your life. You are in your new season right now. You might be bargaining. Well, Lord, if I could just stay with him a little bit longer, things could get better. He could change. Many of us have two eyes and we still can't see that, that some people don't belong in our lives. Despite all the how these people have been showing you who they are, you keep giving excuses for them. You know, God sends us bold signs and wonders what we'll choose to make out of them. Sometimes, he expects us to change our environment and our surroundings so we can reach the ultimate level of being blessed. And if you're going to reach your destiny, you have to learn to kiss things and people goodbye. You're not going to understand everything that happens. People may walk away. Life may not turn out the way you thought. Are there people in your life pulling you back yet you're unwilling to walk away from them? What you're unwilling to walk away from is where you'll get stuck. If you don't kiss the wrong people goodbye, you'll never meet the right people. And if someone is not adding value to your life, making you better, and pushing you towards your destiny, you need to make a change. And sometimes it's just a new season. The friends you had five years ago may not be the friends you need now. Everybody can't go where you're going. It doesn't mean they're not good people. You've just outgrown them right now. You're going at a faster pace. If you continue hanging around them, it will limit your growth. Sometimes we're waiting for God to change things, but God is waiting for us to make a decision. You have to put your foot down and say, I am not coming into my new season in life with old thinking. I am kissing the chip on my shoulder goodbye. I'm kissing the guilt goodbye. I'm kissing a barely get by mentality goodbye. When you kiss it goodbye, this means in your mind you're putting an end to it. You're saying, this addiction is not going to control me anymore. I am free. Yes, you are free indeed. Well, you've made a lot of mistakes. Yes, but I've kissed them goodbye. I am not living in regrets and beating myself up. I am forgiven, I am redeemed, and I'm wearing a robe of righteousness. You've always been in dysfunction, that's how you were raised. You've always been hot-tempered, you've always been angry in your life. Yes, that's how I was raised, but that's not who I am. I'm kissing the goodbye, I'm putting an end to what's been passed down. I'm breaking the generational curse and I'm starting the generational blessing in my life. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to announce to that dysfunction, mediocrity, depression, bitterness, anger, I'm kissing you goodbye. I won't be seeing you anymore in my life. We are parting ways. Hate to say it that I'm not going to miss you. Kiss loneliness goodbye and pray and say, Father, thank you that you have somebody awesome already headed my way. Thank you that the right person is chasing me down. Goodbye to lack, struggle, not having enough. You were in my yesterday, but sorry, you're not in my today. Father, thank you that I will lend and not borrow. Thank you that whatever I touch will prosper and succeed. In Jesus' name, amen. Maybe you need to kiss goodbye to the way you see yourself. Inferior, unattractive, not a good personality, not talented enough. Kiss that wrong self-image goodbye. Victory starts in your thinking, abundance, health, freedom. It starts in our mind. You can't think the same way and expect different results. Start embracing who God says you are. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are a masterpiece. You have been crowned with favor. You have royal blood flowing through your veins. Nobody in this world has your same fingerprints. You didn't come up in assembly line. You are an original, one of a kind, made in the image of Almighty God. I wonder where you could be at this time next year if you'd start kissing things goodbye, kiss the offense goodbye, quit letting people hurt your feelings.
quit letting what they say ruin your day tune it out they have a right to say what they want you have a right to ignore it you shouldn't let that get down in your spirit with joy i'm praying that these people at work will quit talking about me i don't want to discourage you but they may never quit talking about you they are jealous of the favor and blessing on your life take it as a compliment because they don't talk about average people they talk about exceptional people they don't talk about people that aren't doing anything they talk about people that are taking new ground people that are making a difference people that stand out it's a test yes it is a test god is seeing if you're ready to go to the next level so are you going to get upset bitter and start thinking about how you're going to pay them back or are you going to kiss it goodbye and keep running your race and enjoying your life in christ those adversaries are getting you prepared for your destiny where you're going there will be opposition critics people trying to pull you down the good news is no weapon formed against you will prosper they cannot stop you because the forces that are for you are greater than the forces that are against you stay on the high road and stay focused on what god has put in your heart you don't have time to get distracted by all the negative chatter what people think about you is none of your business what they're saying shouldn't concern you there'll always be somebody that doesn't like you kiss it goodbye and keep moving forward now there may be some relationships you need to kiss goodbye and i'm not talking about your husband or your wife your time is too valuable to spend it with peace stealers people that try to get you all riled up or with dream killers people that tell you what you can't become or with compromisers people that cause you to give in to temptation Naomi's daughter-in-law Opa wasn't necessarily a bad person. In fact, she was a good person. Naomi loved her. They had spent years together. But Naomi recognized that Opa's part in her story was over. She didn't try to talk her into staying. If someone is supposed to be in your life, you can't make them leave. And if someone leaves easily, they're not supposed to be there. Quit trying to talk people into staying. You don't have to convince anyone to love you, to call you, or to come see you or care. You are a gift. You are a prize. You have something amazing to offer. If they don't want to be there, that's a sure sign. They're not supposed to be there. God has already ordained people who can't leave you. People that want to celebrate you. People that love spending time with you. If somebody wants to leave, let them leave. Your destiny is not tied to the people that walked away. Be respectful, but kiss the opus goodbye. God told Abraham to leave his relatives and move to a different city. I'm sure he loved his relatives. For a season, everything was fine. But when God was about to promote Abraham and do something big in his life, he knew his relatives and the people where he lived wouldn't be able to handle it. The people closest to you may not see the greatness in you. When they're familiar, they can dismiss you as just being ordinary. Sometimes you have to kiss people goodbye so you can become all you were created to be. Yes, kiss them goodbye. Don't let people talk you out of what God put in your heart. When you come to the end of life, you're not going to have to stand before people and give an account. You're going to stand before God. I would rather disappoint people than disappoint God. I would rather hurt a few feelings than to miss my destiny. Is there something or someone you need to kiss goodbye? A hurt, a bad attitude, an area that you're compromising in. It doesn't belong to your future. The Apostle Paul said, Forgetting what lies behind, I press to the high calling. If there's a high calling, that means there's a low calling. You can go through life holding on to hurts or wrong attitudes with people that are not good for you, but that will keep you from new levels, from the high calling that belongs to your life. So it's time to start kissing things goodbye. Kiss that failure goodbye. This is a new day. Kiss guilt goodbye. You've been forgiven. 
kiss the bad break goodbye god has something better if you'll do this i believe and declare you're about to come into the high calling new doors are going to open new relationships favor healing breakthroughs and the fullness of your destiny in jesus name amen